I've flipped the HEQ uh, G-Port gimbal upside down and mounted it on the plane. Stabilised FPV view doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but uh, if you've got uh, decent quality recording on board through your video transmitter, it makes more sense. Anyway, let's just go for a fly and see what stabilised view looks like on the Mini Talon. Yes, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, not bad. <laughs> that is cool. No, we don't want cruise, we want, um, we want to be able to move around. Whoa, <laughs> this looks weird. Oh, you've got to get used to it. <laughs> Don't really get a sense of attitude. Have to look at the uh, Vario. See if you're going up or down, but look at that. That is weird. Cruise mode should be super, super stabilized. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a great picture anyway. But uh, yeah, I prefer not to be stabilized in my FPV, FPV view. Return to launch. Whee, look at that reaction. Newly plowed field down there, ready for sowing. And circling around home. This is very interesting. All right.
All right, we'll bring it back in. So it does look pretty cool. But I think I would still prefer Uh, a bit more feedback in the FPV view. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder how it lands. Very cool. So that's an interesting experience. It, the, the gimbal works really well. Um, beautifully smooth footage. Okay, it would be good to set it up as a, a head tracker, of course, or even a pan and tilt. Uh, and I will do that eventually with a bit more setting up through the, the little app. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.